guys what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here so for today's video i am so excited to review this palette this is the new minka palette from adept cosmetics now i know i'm kind of late to reviewing this but y'all this palette is just so, so gorgeous. So you guys want to see what this palette's all about. Is it actually worth the price point? And if you guys should get it, well, then definitely keep watching. Okay, guys, so this palette launched on October 18th. Well, no, it had launched on October 22nd, but let me tell you guys, for some reason, I thought this palette was launching on October 18th. So I sat on a Adept, what Adept Cosmetics website for like five minutes, refreshing, 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 and it kept saying sold out. And I was like, did I miss the palette? I was so upset. I went back to the Instagram and I realized, oh my God, it says October 22nd. Ooh, I'm thinking the wrong date. And I laughed so hard at myself because I literally had the wrong date, but I just kept refreshing, 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 thinking that this is the day. And Y'all, when I saw Adept Cosmetics announce this palette, I was like, I have to have it. Well, first off, the first time I ever got introduced to Adept Cosmetics was when Heather Austin actually released her palette. This is the palette from Heather Austin, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think the formula on here is truly incredible. It really sparked my interest in this brand and got me to be like, wow, what other palettes do they have? So they were actually kind enough. They sent me the Amulet palette. Um, I didn't really get a chance to play with it um, at all. I didn't really get a chance to play with it, but there's two different versions. So there's this Amulet one, and there's another version as well that just has a little bit different colors. So you guys can kind of choose which one you guys want to get. But I really do enjoy the formula of this brand. I love the packaging. It's so simple. But when I saw this palette, I was like, ah. so this is the Minka palette. Ah, look at how gorgeous this palette is. And this palette actually does retail for $57. It's currently sold out right now, but it is available for pre-order. So if you guys want to get your hands on it, go get your hands on it while supplies last because this bad boy sells so quickly. Now here we have the Minka palette. You are going to have 12 beautiful shades in here. There are two mattes. The rest are all shimmers. I am so excited to dive into this. Now I did receive this about two weeks ago. I would have reviewed it back then, but it was Halloween and I was trying to save this more towards the holiday because to me, this is like a holiday Christmas palette and I'm just so obsessed with how it looks so I didn't want to review it in Halloween so we're here to review it now now I do not have a code with Adept Cosmetics but I know that Heather Austin does so I'll make sure I link her code down below make sure you guys use it when checking out Adept Cosmetics because it helps save you guys some coin so with that said guys I am so excited we're gonna go ahead and swatch this the only palettes that I don't have from this brand now are Plain Jane and Nenhydrin, Nenhydrin, but Nenhydrin says it's available for pre-order and Plain Jane is available right now. So probably end up putting an order in for both those palettes because I just really do enjoy the formula of this brand. I think it's incredible. And they also have a bundle. You guys can buy like all four palettes for $214. It was actually a really good steal. So with that said, guys, let me go ahead and swatch this because I have been dying to play with this. I mean, like seriously, do you guys like seriously, like what? That is gorgeous. Like what the heck like do, do, do you guys see this like oh what is this okay so the very first shade we have is Minka Emma Ava Layla Maya Toya Luna Nora Cora Linda Selena and Maria right there I mean like seriously do you guys see that that is incredible that is absolutely beautiful like i'm just gonna show you guys this is the shade minka watch right here what the heck i'll go into shade maya because maya is so pretty hello what what let's go into layla like these are so gorgeous like oh my god i am obsessed with the formula it is so creamy it's so buttery now i could probably tell you guys right here that these probably will flake just a bit when applying um just because when i was swatching them they did flake just a tiny bit there's definitely some flaking in the palette like let me show you guys just a little tiny flaking but these are really really easy to work with in terms of dealing with that so i'm so excited the only thing that i'm not the biggest fan of is just the two mattes because i feel the mattes are so lackluster compared to the shimmers in here but you know what i can definitely make this work like i probably won't use the mattes in this palette to use to, to do a beautiful eye look today i kind of want to like 
grab like a neutral eyeshadow palette because I feel like I feel like this would have been absolutely stunning if this were like more like brown neutral tones because of all the shades that are in here but we're gonna make this work so let me go ahead and zoom you guys in I'm so excited to play with these because this is just so damn beautiful Okay, so originally I was gonna go in with like a brown shade, but you know what? We're actually gonna try the shade Maria today. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it on the outer corner and kind of lightly bring it forward because we are going to utilize these like foils because oh my God, they're so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna take that shade Maria and I'm just gonna start to tap it on the outer corner. So, sort of just tap it right here. Here. Okay, see now that has more pigment than I originally thought. When I first swatched it, I was like, oh my god, this isn't have as much pigment that I was expecting, but it's actually laying down rather nicely. Okay, good. But this is why I don't like to base anything off of swatches because swatches do not tell you everything because how it swatches can be very different than like how it actually performs on the eye. You know what I mean? So I'm literally just kind of stamping this right in the outer corner right there. Oh my gosh, guys. So do you guys remember how last week I went and got a facial because it was my birthday and Corey got me a facial for my birthday? Well, one of my closest friends, Michael, not Mikey, I have, I have Michael and I have Mikey, but my one of my closest friends, Michael, who's best friends with Teresa, actually got me a massage for my birthday. So I went and utilized it yesterday. And I have a lot of pain. I don't know what's been going on with my back, but I've been having a lot of knots in my back and a lot of like pinching my back where it's kind of like hard to fully turn because like it pinches from the back of my skull all the way down to like the bottom of like my back. So I let them know yesterday, like when I walked in, you're gonna feel a lot of knots. Um, I don't want you to focus on those knots. I generally just wanna have a very relaxing massage. And they were like, okay, absolutely no worries. And when they got to my back, they were like, wow. <laughs> oh, wow, you were not kidding. You have a lot of knots. I was like, yeah, I told you. But she gave me the best massage I've ever had in my entire life. One, she did not talk. The only thing she ever said was, how's the pressure? <sighs> Fantastic. But then she got to like my feet. <sighs> I don't know what she did, but when she got to my feet, like she gave me a foot massage in a way that I have never had a foot massage in my entire life. And I swear, I swear I got a little horny a little horny off that foot massage. I was like, oh my God, damn bitch. Like she was so, so good. She gave me exactly what I was looking for. And I'm actually gonna go back and see her again in the next coming weeks because I've been having a lot of back pain. I don't know if it's because of my computer chair. I don't know what's been going on, but I just like have a lot of knots, which is just making me really, 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 really uncomfortable. And I've just been in a lot of pain. So I'm going back to her to have her actually work on those knots. Like I didn't want her to do it during this massage if I just wanted a relaxing massage and she gave me exactly what I was looking for. I took y'all's advice because when I told you guys about the facial and I said that like, you know, it wasn't the relaxing facial that I wanted. She gave me the facial that I needed, not that I want, not what I wanted. And you know, I'm still really grateful for it because she did a great job of clearing out my pores and whatnot. But I took your guys' advice because you guys were all like, no, stand up for yourself. Tell them exactly what you want. So that's what I did for this massage because I knew, I knew going in that she would feel my knots and be like, whoa, you know, and she did. She was like, wow, your knots are so like, uh. So I took your guys' advice. So thank you guys so, so much. Okay, I just brought that shade forward very, very, very lightly. But do we not see how gorgeous this is laying down? Like this is laying down so nicely really beautiful um oh my gosh also this morning i have to just tell you guys this because it just made me laugh but this morning i went to my ups store and i had a massive box sitting in my ups store and the guy that works in my ups store his name is eric super sweet like 50 something year old man super religious um which there's nothing wrong with that like i'm religious too but uh he's very soft spoken very polite well he handed me this really big box this morning and i it came out before I even realized. I'm gonna go into the shade Layla right here. And it came out before I really really realized when he laid down that box, I went, holy shit. And he looked at me and I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I literally was like, I'm sorry. Damn. I'm sorry. And he's like, it's okay. And he handed me the box and I signed it. I signed off paperwork for it. And then I walked away and I just started laughing because I literally thought of that scene I literally thought of that scene about Kevin Hart and like Don, but I literally thought of that scene when he said how old he was and he's like, damn, <laughs> that was me. And he's like, I'm sorry. And that was me this morning. And I said, holy shit. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And also, holy shit again. Do we not see like that is insane. I don't have any glitter glue on nothing. I just laid that down. Look at how gorgeous 
this is. Like, what the heck? Definitely has a lot of flaking though, so you want to be mindful of that. This is why I like to apply my eyeshadow first so that there is fallout. It's something that I can deal with before I put on my um, foundation and whatnot. Okay, so now we're going to go into this beautiful shade Maya. I think this is like my, my favorite shade in this palette because it's like a like silver with like a purple undertone to it. It is so freaking gorgeous. Like I can't get over how stunning this like pinky silvery shade is it is just my gosh so pretty and the best part is you literally don't need any sort of glitter glue this is just laying down beautifully all on its own like wow that is just blinding <laughs> that is so pretty okay then we're gonna go into the shade minka this beautiful like silver shade and we're just gonna stamp that right in the inner corner like right we're just gonna put that right in the inner corner just right here oh my god that shade is the most blinding silver wow like that is so intense okay then i'm gonna go into the shade toya right here and I'm just going to kind of buff out that purple that we see just very lightly place that right here to kind of buff that out It sucks that I accidentally brought that gold shade Layla up pretty high, but you know what it is what it is It still kind of works like it it works. Okay, so here's how it looks. I think it's absolutely stunning I mean like seriously this foil is so beautiful. You don't need any sort of glitter glue the way that it just like rips onto the lid is Absolutely stunning and there's actually not that much fallout in the face Which I really do appreciate nor is it flaking much which is really really nice guys dealt with a lot of foils that definitely have flaked and come off this hasn't at all. This is working really, really beautifully. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and we're going to come back to do the lower line. We're going to come back to do the lower lashes together and I'll give you guys my thoughts on this. But so far I have to say I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this. Like, huh? Damn, this is good. Okay guys, now that both eyes are done, face is on. Um, you guys can see like, what is this? Like this definitely has a little bit of fallout. I originally said it didn't, but I went with, when I worked with this eye, ooh, had some fallout but it's still so beautiful so we're gonna go back into this palette we're gonna take the shade maria one more time and we're gonna place this on our underneath our waterline but we're gonna blend that with toya right here so so beautiful these foil shades are so pigmented but you have to be a little careful when working with them because they do kind of stick um i definitely would say if you guys don't want to use a uh glitter glue you guys don't have to but if you guys don't want to have any fallout, then I definitely recommend putting some glitter glue down. That would help it from falling out. I don't really care to use glitter glue because I don't really care if my eyeshadow falls out too much. I just don't care enough about that. But I know some people do. So just in case, I would recommend using a little bit of glitter glue to help prevent that from happening. That blends out so freaking easy. It's insane how beautifully and easy that blends out. Okay, so now that's laid down, I am... Hmm... I think I'll go into the shade Ava right here. This beautiful shade right here, the shade Ava. And I think I'm gonna use this very, very lightly to do my inner corner. I probably won't do a brow bone highlight because I'm not sure if this would actually go well with a brow bone highlight, but I'm gonna take the shade Ava and very, very lightly place this right here for my inner corner. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips off the camera, finish off my eyes, and I'll be right on back. All right, guys, and this is the final look. So what are my thoughts on the new Adept Cosmetics Minka palette? First off, I have to say, I really do love the packaging. I think the pack packaging is so simplistic, it's so elegant, and it really has the holiday feel. When you open on the inside, you are gonna have these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shades. This is a 12 pan palette. You're going to have 10 shimmers and two mattes and majority of these are going to be foils with two non-foil shades. And I have to say these foils are outstanding. They are unbelievably pigmented, like super, super pigmented, like one swipe and woo, you are good to go. They blend beautifully into each other. They blend beautifully with the mattes. And I really do love the formula on this. Like you do not need to have any sort of sticky base. You probably don't need to have anything on your eye, honestly, to get these shadows to perform because of how good the quality is. Now this palette does retail for $57 because <clears throat> of how good the quality is. Now I have to say, I love this palette so much. I do, but I will say it is a little intense. Like the shadows are a little intense. They are a little messy. I don't exactly know how to make them not look so messy because 
they look a little messy but you know what i don't mind like you could definitely see like right up here you guys can see where that shimmer has definitely shifted honestly like i said if i use glitter glue i probably could have locked that down where it doesn't move at all and it sticks and does not budge my lid which is something i probably should have done but i really want to try out the formula for what it is and i'm thoroughly impressed with the formula i think the shadows are unbelievably beautiful they're so reflective they're so creamy and buttery i love the way they look and i just think that's an overall very very gorgeous palette you get the most beautiful like holiday shades you can mix and match this with so many other palettes out there like the first palette i ever tried from this brand like i said was the heather austin palette and i think heather did such a phenomenal job when she created the color scheme in this palette it's so beautiful it's so made me so intrigued to try more stuff with this brand and i'm really really glad that i did i think heather austin's palette is so beautiful if you guys want to check it out you guys absolutely should because it's a stunning palette but I will say this is like the beautiful, like the most beautiful like holiday palette. I love it. I really do. <laughs> I love it. I really do. It is a little messy. So just, you know, be forewarned. It is a little messy, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. And the best part is it only retails for $57. If you guys use code Heather, you guys can actually save 10% off your palette or anything out of Depth Cosmetics. So use code Heather, help you guys, help you guys save some coin and yeah, I think this is such a gorgeous palette, just a little messy. I'm gonna have to keep playing with it to figure out the best way for me to apply it. I'll probably have to use a brush next time to really kind of just put it in the place I wanted to. But when I apply it the finger, like my fingers are kind of big, so like obviously it's gonna kind of go everywhere. But at the end of the day, it's stunning, it's gorgeous, and I just think Adept Cosmetics is such like an underrated brand. I don't hear enough people talking about it, and I really wanna check out other palettes from this brand now because this is the third one that I have, and I've been impressed each and every single time. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know down below if you guys have ever tried this brand or if you guys wanna try this brand, what palette you guys wanna try. I'll make sure I have Heather's code linked down below and where you guys can get this as well, but yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post four to five videos a week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R for the Life, for you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to all these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe, you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys very next video bye okay so this palette actually launched well they were i was like wow what other palettes do they have so with that said guys i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna swatch this the only palettes that i okay guys so now that the eyes are on okay now that both die okay.